Hi, I'm Lisa Chotoli, in-store dietitian for Zare's Big Bay Point and Essa Road locations in Barrie. I am really happy today to be able to join the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library for their virtual Maker Fest this year. And today I'll be talking about healthy snacking and how you can turn your simple and plain kind of um, familiar snacks into more fun, interactive, and nutrient-packed snacks. And we'll be doing that by demonstrating a recipe um, in under 10 minutes for nut butter energy bites. So snacking is not for everyone, um, but a well-balanced snack can help curb our hunger between meals, and it can also help to give us some of those nutrients that we might be tougher to get from meals alone. So snacking does have its benefits. Um, a well-balanced snack would be a combination of fiber plus protein. And the benefits of having a snack with fiber and protein are that they help to keep us full longer, they can help balance our blood sugar levels, they help keep us regular, and help us to build and maintain muscle mass. So you can see that there are many benefits to eating well-balanced snacks. And so we'll just get right into our recipe. And so we'll start with our dry ingredients. So for these nut butter energy bites, the great thing about them is that this recipe yields um, close to 40 energy bites. So whatever you don't eat now, you can freeze and save for later. So um, you know, you're spending some time making it now, but you will have um, a healthy snack to as a go-to for probably the rest of the week or more. Um, the other great thing is that it is a no-bake recipe, so really, really easy to put together. And you can get the whole family involved. The kids love to get involved and um, you know stir the mixture or roll the energy bites. So there's just a lot of things for the whole family to get involved with. So we'll just start by mixing our dry ingredients. So I've measured out two thirds a cup of quick cooking oats. Um, and to that, we're gonna add some ground flax seed. So it's also called flax meal. And there's two tablespoons in here. And the benefit of this is that it does have fiber and protein, but it also has a bonus healthy fats which is great. So that makes the ground flax seed really a key ingredient in this recipe. So I'm just going to add two tablespoons into my dry bowl here. And next, you can add some flavors. So um, if you like coconut, you can maybe try a shredded unsweetened coconut. Um, I really like nuts and seeds. So I'm actually going to add a third a cup of chopped walnuts. Um, and then for you know a bit of flavor and fun, we're gonna add some semi-sweet mini chocolate chips to the recipe. And I measured out a third of a cup here. Okay, so we have all of our dry ingredients in this bowl here. I'm just gonna give it a mix. Combine all those ingredients. Okay, now we move on to the wet ingredients. So I've measured out one cup of peanut butter in this bowl, medium sized bowl. Um, you can use almond butter if you prefer. And if you have an allergy in the home, feel free to substitute for a sunflower seed butter or a wow butter, which is soy based. Those also work really well. So to our peanut butter, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of pure maple syrup. And you could use honey here if you prefer. I'll just add that in. This is like our binder mixture. Um, and to that, I'm going to add some vanilla, a teaspoon. Okay. Great. Okay, so we'll just mix that up. So once our dry and our wet ingredients have been combined, we're gonna mix them together. Okay, that's great. Great, so this 
this can get a little bit messy. <laughs> so you can use your hands or you can use a spoon. I might have to do both today, but I'm gonna try with um, the spoon first. We'll just combine everything together. So you wanna get a, a tougher consistency, something that you can roll out into balls. Yeah. It's coming together really nicely. Perfect. So I have my mixture now, wet ingredients and dry ingredients. It smells great. Um, next step is going to be taking about a tablespoon of the mixture into your hand and just rolling it really easy. Just roll it into a ball about one to two inches thick. And there we have it, a little energy bite. <laughs> so these are great little snacks. They contain both fiber and protein and an added bonus, healthy fats as well. And they can be frozen and just a really convenient, quick snack that you can th throw together anytime really. Um, these are a lot of pantry ingredients, so you may already have a lot of these ingredients on hand, which is another bonus. Um, and as you can see, healthy snacking can be fun. Um, it can be nutrient dense and it brings the whole family together. So if you do have more questions or um, are looking for more recipe inspiration, feel free to reach out to me by visiting bookadietitian.ca to book your free 15 minute chat with me. And I would like to thank you for watching today and thank the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library for involving me in MakerFest this year and happy snacking.